All right, we're going to continue on our side. These next two are a little tricky, so if it's too much, just watch, or if you feel any weirdness or uncomfortableness, don't push into it, but we're really gonna fire up our obliques, and we're gonna be using the eccentric control of gravity in our obliques, so it might make you a little bit sore tomorrow, even though you don't think you're doing anything, so don't be surprised. And if you only do two, I'm gonna show five, but you could do two or three to start um, to see how exciting this might be for you. All right, and if you've done something like this before, I'll be very impressed. All right, so we're gonna take the ball and same thing, put it over our rib cage and we're gonna hang down over side. This bottom leg is, or top leg is gonna be straight and bottom leg is bent. And we're gonna take our top hand and put it right on our, our sternum area. We're gonna take a big inhale. And then as we exhale, we're gonna twist and rotate our body down to the ground, our upper body to the ground. Our goal right now is to keep our pelvis still. So we're gonna go down here, and then we're gonna inhale just right back to the center. Let's twist down towards the ground, keeping our pelvis still in space, and then inhale back to the center. And again, down to the ground, and then back up to the center. And one more, down to the ground, and inhale back center. Yeah, you can leave your hand there, or you can bend and put your hand behind your head a little bit for a little support if you need to. As you exhale, we're gonna now rotate our chest up to the sky, but keep this hip staying forward the best you can, and then come back to the center. And rotate up to the sky as you keep your pelvis forward, and come back to the center. And again. Two more. And this hand can just be a little support for your head if you need it. You can also just go all the way back, but I'll let you explore that on your own. And rotate your sternum to the sky. And now bring your sternum back to the center. Okay, good times. So let's come on up. And now we're going to flip to the other side, hopefully. And again, I'm going to show you a back view so that you can see what that looks like. So here we are. Ball at the same place. You can have your head, arm up over head at the bottom. Hips are trying to stay still right now. Top leg is straight, bottom leg is bent. Hand comes to the sternum. Here we go, big inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna twist down towards the ground, but keep your hip straight towards the wall in front of you. And then inhale right back to the center. And exhale down to the ground, and then bring it right back to the center. And sternum to the ground, and sternum to the center. Two more, sternum to the ground, and sternum to the center. One more, twist down, and twist back center. You can leave the bottom hand here, or like me, put your hand behind your head for a little support here. Inhale, and now exhale. You can twist this chest to the sky, resting your head in your hand. As you do it, do your best to keep that hip shiny towards the wall in front of you, and then come back to the center. And twist the chest to the sky, and back to the center. Twist the chest to the sky, and back to the center. 
two more. You can go as far back as your body allows, if you like, and back center. One more nice big open extension and rotation and come back center. All right, let's come back up. Now, we're gonna go back over to the first side and you know me, we did the top, so we've got to do the bottom. All right, let's come back down. This is where it gets a little tricky. So the ball is still gonna be at your rib cage and you're gonna still drape over side of the ball. The bottom leg is still bent. This time sternum stays still, but pelvis moves. So the first one, we're gonna bring our top leg a little bit more forward. And we're going to twist our pelvis towards the sky. But as we do that, we're gonna keep our sternum forward. So this leg is just going forward because the pelvis is reaching it forward. And then we're gonna pull our pelvis back center. And push our pelvis to the ground. The leg will go forward a little bit. Do your best to keep your chest straight forward. If you notice, mine fell down. And then pull the pelvis back center. And chest stays forward as the pelvis goes towards the ground. And bring it back to the center. Two more. Pelvis goes forward, chest stays center, and back down. And one more, pelvis goes towards the ground, chest stays forward, and come back to the center. Now, we're gonna take our leg behind us. Ideally, our chest is going to stay right forward. Now you're gonna reach your pelvis to the sky, chest stays still, and draw the leg back forward. Pelvis opens to the sky. Pelvis comes back to the center. Two more. Pelvis opens to the sky. Keep the sternum straight forward. And then bring it center. Two more. Pelvis opens to the sky. And center. One more. Pelvis opens to the sky and bring it back center. Okie dokie. Let's do the other side. Flip yourself around. And my waist is awake. I don't know about yours. So now we're draped back over the ball. We're trying to keep our pelvis straight forward the best we can. And now we're gonna take our hand towards our sternum. And we're gonna keep our sternum still. We're gonna bring this leg a little bit in front. And now we're gonna do pelvis towards the ground. Here we go. Pelvis to the ground. Keep this sternum straight forward. And bring the pelvis back center. Pelvis goes to the ground and pelvis back center. Pelvis to the ground, make sure that sternum is forward, and pelvis center. Two more, pelvis down, and pelvis center. One more, pelvis down, and pelvis center. Now we're gonna bring that leg a little bit behind us, Keep the sternum forward the best you can. And pelvis reaches up to the sky. And now we're gonna draw it back to the center. Pelvis reaches up to the sky. And draw it back center. And pelvis to the sky. And center. And pelvis to the sky. And bring it center. One more for fun. Allow that pelvis to open to the sky. And draw it back to the center. Very nice. Let's come 
one up and flip back on over to the other side. Alrighty, for this next section, you may want to get a little pillow under the side of your hip. So this is just, uh, I don't know, it's about a three quarters inch or half inch mat that I use for Pilates mat. And then I just chop them up into little sections, all right? But a puffy towel or something like that will work just fine. It'll just give you a little padding at your hip so it doesn't hurt in case the surface you're on isn't ha doesn't have enough padding. So you're gonna take that if you decide that you wanna use it. Some people don't need it, they're just fine. And you're gonna put it under your hip for a little cushion. We're gonna take our fancy little ball and we're gonna put it in between our feet. And we're gonna attempt to get our body in one long straight line. So pelvis is straight forward and chest is straight forward. We're gonna flex our feet and gently squeeze the ball together, but please don't kill or pop the ball. You just wanna do a little gentle squeeze. Ideally, our feet are in parallel because we're working these muscles right here, specifically our glute medius, and goodness gracious, we need that for our walking. So try not to let the pelvis go to the ceiling. We want the pelvis straight forward. And you're gonna start with your waist on the underneath side lifted. We're gonna big inhale and exhale. Waist goes down and you're gonna pick both legs up. And then inhale, waist goes up as both feet go down. Two. Waist down, both legs go up. Three, try not to drop your ball. Four. One more. Okay, now we're gonna get fancy. We're gonna point and lift and flex and lower. One, exhale, point and lift, inhale, flex and lower. Two, point, lift, flex, lower. Three, two more, point, lift, flex, lower. Four, and point, lift, flex, lower, five, you know we have to reverse it, flex, lift, point, lower, one, flex, lift, point, lower, two, flex, lift, point, lower, three, flex, lift, point, lower, four, and flex, lift, Point, lower five. Woo! All right, we're gonna do the other side. So let's just roll onto your back for one moment and just let that top ankle go over the bottom knee and just let it release. Just in case you're feeling some fatigue or tightness. And let's do the other side. So now we're gonna flip on over here, hopefully. And we're gonna bring our ball between our ankles. Arm is up overhead. We've got our hip rested on our pillow if we're using a pillow. And then we've got our waist lifted. And remember, we're just gently holding the ball there. And we want ideally pelvis forward and sternum forward the best we can the whole time. Here we go, inhale, exhale. Waist to the floor, lift the legs, one. Inhale, lower, exhale, two. Inhale, lower, exhale, three. Inhale, lower, and four. Inhale, lower, and five, lower down. Now here we go, point, lift, and flex, lower, one. Point, lift, and flex, lower, two. Point, lift, and flex, lower, three. 
point. Lift and flex. Lower. Four. Point. Lift and flex. Lower. Five. Let's reverse it. Flex. Lift and point. Lower. One. Flex. Lift and point. Lower. Two. Flex. Lift and point lower. Three. Flex. Lift and point lower. Four. Last set. Flex. Lift and point lower. Five. All right. Again, let's grab the ball. Roll to your back and bring your top ankle and just rest it over the bottom knee and let it relax a moment. And now we're going to go back over to the first side and do a really fun version of clams. All right, here we go. Let's flip back over here, chickadees. Now, again, this might be getting a little tricky for us. You do not have to do this. You can just do it with your feet down and no ball. But if you want to join me, put your ball between your feet and we're going to try to keep our waist lifted and our pelvis forward and not drop our ball and not move our pelvis. All you're going to do is open the knee and close the knee while keeping your feet towards the sky. Open the knee and your pelvis still. Close the knee and without letting your ball move. Three, and inhale, control it down. You can smile if you want. Four, and down. One more, five. Notice I'm trying to keep this hip right forward and not rock to the sky. We're just doing five today, lucky us. Grab your ball. Let's roll on to our back. And bring that right ankle to the left knee or top ankle to the bottom knee and just let that hip release a little bit but this version is a really good way to see if you're moving your hips around on your clams or if you're actually moving in the hip joint and as I'm demonstrating remember I have very loosey-goosey hips and my legs kind of go around a whole lot you may not have that much movement when you open and close your knees, so don't try to look like me. Just go where you can keep your hips still and not lose your ball. All right, ball goes back into your feet. Flip on over or flip first and then put the ball in your feet. We're lined up. Our heels are back in line with our sits bones. Your waist is lifted the best you can. And now we're going to lift the feet towards the ceiling and keep our pelvis straight forward the best we can. Here we go. Exhale. Open the knee. And inhale. Close the knee. Two. And close. And you may find that one side three is more exciting than the other side. That's pretty normal. Four and close. Try not to let your ball wibble wobble. Try to keep it as still as you can. Five and down. Nice. All right. Let's flip onto our back. Grab your ball and go ahead and let your top leg rest over the bottom leg. Yay, we've made it. All right, remove your ball out of the way. So those were our lying on our back exercises or supine exercises. Let's take a moment and regroup and see how our body feels. Allow your knees to drop together, and like we did in the beginning, allow your arms to cross over your chest, 
and close your eyes and just do a nice little body check here. See how we're feeling. Notice your breathing. Notice your thoughts. Notice any points of tension or pain. And just compare the difference from when we started a few moments ago to now and see how you're doing. And then release out of it. Open your eyes a moment. Go ahead, turn yourself side and come on up to seated.